Since President Donald Trump tested positive for COVID-19 in October, his treatment has been in the spotlight, including vitamin D. Its effectiveness against the virus is currently being studied at UCSF Fresno. From the first months of the pandemic, Dr. Anna Kazarian, a rheumatologist at UCSF Fresno, noticed a potential connection between vitamin D and COVID-19. I have seen that uh, lower levels of vitamin D correlate with increased risk of contracting this virus and also correlates with a disease severity. So in May, she started testing this connection through a formal study, looking at the vitamin D levels of nearly 200 COVID-19 patients and the severity of their illness. And she says 70 to 80 percent of patients with low vitamin D have landed in the ICU. It's a concerning number, which she says can be tied to shelter in place orders prompted by the pandemic that kept people inside out of the sun. There is a um, insufficiency of vitamin D, there's deficiency. So depending on the levels then yeah but almost uh, all patients who I check are low in vitamin D. The second phase of the study which starts soon will focus on treatment and while Dr. Kazarian recommends everyone get some sun eat vitamin D rich foods or even take supplements to boost their vitamin D levels she warns don't overdo it. There is such thing as vitamin D toxicity mm. you know it's great when it's at a normal level but too much uh, can cause um, you know a lot of problems. Dr. Kazarian says checking in with a doctor is the best way to know for sure how much vitamin D you need.